second game straight, kind of doing something a bit different. Phobos, yeah. notoriously known for, you know, repping his axe, repping his uh, spear breaker. Been a big popular one. That got to try to get the seven. Haste on Ogre. This is really dangerous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Phobos is in trouble got here. Ignite, so. No nature's guys. No way to get away. Just a living armor and, and prayer. But... Nobody's listening. As he does get taken down, it's going to be mad. He's smoked Smoking, up, but yeah. Havos was taking all that time to farm up. Very safe play from Tree, safe play from Ancient Apparition. And now they are going towards the top lane here. They have had enough of Loda as Loda making a go on to Phobos. Pops out. A very nice overgrowth. And here comes the rest of Na'Vi. They get two quick hits and take out Aki. They're going to go for Loda next here. And Jump Forward should finish him off, and it will. Two-man grab. Equal also kill. in nice. trouble. It's three. Big fight for Na'Vi in the top lane. Oh, no. Oh, Venge just killed himself. He walked through the fire back to his base. What no. a mistake. Whoops. That didn't need to happen. Um, so, and the level one's the more than enough, fight. though. Yeah. yeah, to get it done. But the rating team is coming. Focus Fire is working, but it only does so much. It's almost out as well, so DPS is about to uh -oh. slow down. Can they get there in time? It's not going to be enough. They grab the Aegis. They get a kill, though. Barretta goes down first. Ogre in some trouble as well. Dendi's pretty survival here with the tree armor. Ends up picking off that kill as well. And I think Alliance is just going to try to get out Aegis on PyCat. Here comes the A ulti, but there's not going to be a follow-up. Dendi goes high ground, but he's out of mana. And there's the relocate from the... Wisp. That is going to sacrifice Wisp's life, but maybe Loda can blink and get a tether, but I doubt it. That's I mean, they have plenty here to, to stop the, the little ball from getting away. Oh, he brings it back. back. They're, They're fighting. They're going to go for a fight. Havos is in trouble. Could lose his first life. Will. And so Nico. Next, very weak and wounded, has to pull back it away. Navi, we're not expecting that one, but it is Havos who's able to get a hold of that pet precious Aki, but he would have died regardless, so it still could be very good. Follow up, Niqua gets a beautiful last one to Dendi and a focus fire from PyCat. He's got Havos, eggs. second life, trying to run. Amp damage, flame break back. They're going for his majesty. Shackle shot slows him down. Dendi no back. Oh, he gets stunned again. That's Dendi a die back. goes down for the second time, jumping in for a commitment. Oh, no. And now Phobos trying to run. Right there. Phobos up in arms with the Ancient Camp. Nico going to be up and above. But Dendi might be dead. Committing. Could go down again. Gotta keep he's keep low. Oh, he's good. He's good. Oh, he I barely think. makes it. Could get sniped from Pycat. Oh, Pycat catches a beautiful latch. Dendi will go down again. Wow. Navi lose three. Alliance continue to look very... So we've got all these skills that don't synergize very well. Do I get Sometimes you end up with an OP hero or like yeah. a crap hero. And you're yeah, like, well, I thought this was going to be good. Now I realize I actually don't have any mana because I didn't have an intel hero. And it's garbage. Oh, quick right pop in the smoke. They see Havos here. His first life could be a quick one. Living armor comes out. Big ice blast does connect, but there's the first life. Loda holding strong here. Havos Great pops swap. his BKB, but yeah, the swap back now. Nikwa could be in trouble. Havos has got to be careful. There's the quick he's catch. so almost dead. Oh, yeah, that's dead. it. Focus fire cleans him up, just oh, does too much damage. And now Phobos could be in trouble. There's a four staff save from Vanscore. Oh, oh the stun, big three ravage. Three man stun from Loda, and they are going to clean out the rest of Navi, with the exception of Dendi, who is already at the bottom lane. Knock A of all people with it. There it is, for farming. Yep. Uh, this is a pretty good spot as well when they have a tier two tower. Oh, uh -oh. Fight mid. mid lane, we're getting caught up in eyes, but it's eyes on mid. Is there's going to be a nice jump there? Only to bring down Mad, but it costs the boss his first life. Quick take down of the vengeful spirit support there from Loda. Objective and a quick retreat without having to engage. Hobost has made me owner, so this gives him better attack speed. Um, the only downside to me owner on Wraith King is that. The lightning strikes don't get crit, so your crit is a little bit worse. And you also can't life steal from it, but not a grab on Vengeance is really bad. This one here they need to stop at, but he gets a stun off. Shackle on him as well. Star goes in. Dendi's in a lot of trouble. The Midas oh. army gets killed in the two seconds that he's stunned. And Havos trying to do anything here, maybe reflecting some damage to Loda, but more stuns. And that Midas armor, it's, look at that. That's a four shot from the mid Wind Ranger. Can he get out? He gets BKB'd up. Oh, oh see? My god, that was like two quick shots and he's yeah. done for. Fan score is gonna be next here, and yeah, that is four down. Only tree to survive, and their racks are going down you, thereafter. You gotta get the armor items when you're playing Rake Thing against minus armor drafts. You have it's to. Ridiculous. Otherwise you your your life is worthless. It's your HP becomes worthless, and your two lives end up being so few. So, Radiant obviously, the main issue is that PyCat is really farmed, and he, he hasn't died yet. That's a big issue, but if you're against minus armor drafts, you...
Uh, zero, three, and one on him. It's not unexpected. This guy's a great player, but there's only so much you can do with the tree on this. Maybe, maybe Dendi didn't think out his plan when he picked as much. He might grab somebody here. Almost. Oh, he actually gets pulled. This is really bad. ALD as well. That's a dead hero. Loda goes in to try to turn things around, but great swap keeping Dendi alive. They might be able to turn again. Batrider finally goes down. Blink forward by Havos, but he gets the amp damage and his armor is so low. Presses BKB. That's going to help a lot. Actually gives him bonus armor. But look, he still oh. dies so fast to PyCat. And now Ogre is going to die as well. Yep. Oh, man. Dendi, double kill for him. Havos with a second oh, life. Just man. gets blown up. Pycat unleashing the fury with his bow. Regular Robin Hood here as he catches out. Nope, no power shot, but oh. gets the kill right there. Godlike for Pycat with a double kill on top of it. Dominating for Loda. Could be a quick one here, Purge. This build is actually so good. I'm and now they smoke up. They are just looking to find a big team fight and end this one. Take out Navi 2 and 0. Oh, of all the people hero. to get. Good swap save right though from Soniko. Try to be the babysitter. Will pay with his own life. But look at Phobos. He's going to drop the overgrowth here. Doesn't find it worth it yet. There is going to be a pop. Plus, the Ice Blast did connect here. And Alliance continue to go on the move. They find out Van Score. And they take him down. Both support. Oh, they get him. Dendi. No mana. Nowhere to go. Bash blocked down. He's dead. Hmm. Three down. It's like Alliance is very much going to win this game, so I'm trying to think where Navi went wrong. I feel like uh, maybe Dendi tried to gank a little bit too much in the early game. He roams a lot more than most Storms do. Most Storms farm really heavily and heal someone for Bloodstone first. Mm -hmm. You could criticize that item build. Uh, Dendi's Storm has always had a bit of a different item build than the standard at the time. I remember when Storm was being figured out maybe one or two TIs ago. He would go sheep first, actually. He would go like tread sheep when everybody else was going to Orchid if they did play Storm. and. I think Storm's pretty figured out right now, but Denny still isn't playing standard. He's still getting Bloodstone first. Almost every Storm goes Orchid. I mean, do you feel like that the draft that Navi threw together, there was I mean, potential yeah. it's not, to make it work? It's not about Dendi, really. I mean, they have an offlane tree, which hasn't accomplished anything. That's an Dyer's issue. Um, I think Hobo's attack. item build was a little bit wrong. I think he should have gone on Armlet at least for damage and armor. Dyer's and other than that, it was just really good fights from, from Alliance. Alliance played a lot of these fights really well. But I think Dendi definitely could have more items here. He's definitely under front for 40 minutes. They're going to fight oh. this, actually. going to grab Nikwa. Big ulti, actually, from the A. Still on it. Dendi balls through as well, going on the support. But he's just getting focus fired after he gets hexed. And immediately, Pycat picks him oh. up. Pycat's doing so much damage. He's eating a lot of it here, but he's going to just turn on to Havos and finish him off. That's the first life for him. Meanwhile, in the back line, Phobos will go down there after. Havos comes back. He wants Ake, but he is now taking on oh, a lot of the Alliance members. And, well, there's going to be the committed Aegis pop. Oh, the Dendi again, up. moving in, and he has to commit suicide. He is out. Minute. No buyback. See you later, Na'Vi. Alliance, wipe him clean. Only have to lose their little wisp who buys a BKB in victory. Yes, my God. Now Alliance Bad trots sign. themselves into the base and we'll be able to go for the tier fours now. Yeah. And that's it. We're done, Purge. That's game one was pretty close, but game two, Alliance. It was okay for a while, just the mid game, the itemization and the, the hero synergy on Alliance was too good. And the offlane champ just it didn't do anything. And that put Navi in such a position where the game just ended, so I, I really yeah thank you slasher there it is that's he deserved that completely because yeah. he wrecked that game and that item build really paid off the Daedalus was by far the item build I think that is slasher has a lot of weird item builds most of the time but that was the most standard